All right, so uh, one of the ways that I can edit my code editor is by using a plugin which has different themes, such as this one, which is the one that I usually use. So if I go ahead and open up a script, I can just go ahead and click on them and they'll change. To give you a better idea, here's a data store script that I've created. So here is what the different options are for this specific one. And some of them change the theme to white or, or, or light mode, <laughs> essentially. Um, I usually use Monokai, but I like the really dark ones like this. Like these are really cool. I like this one too. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. So this one's really cool. I used it for a while. So yeah, so these are, you know, pre-made ones that you can just one click install. Um, or you can go over here to file settings studio and scroll down and c put your own custom ones in um, and then there's a custom button here too if you want to have your own and mine's just an edited version of Monokai but yeah that is how you do that and if you want the plugin for the code editor themes um, there's a couple actually which I'll put links to in the description if you do not know how to install a plugin to install a plugin, you go over to the create page and then go to the library tab and hit on plugins. And then you find the plugin. Well, you can just go through the link that's inside of the description. And then what you do is, well, what you do, I'm just going to use this as an example, is just click on the install button. It will start to open up a Roblox Studio, which will have a prompt here, which will allow you to just hit install it'll install hit okay and then you have to reopen another place so instead of just going back in here and it'll be here you're going to have to close out of your game and then reopen and the plugin should be here where is it the more plugins you have the smaller these icons get so that is something to keep in mind i have no idea where that plugin went it just disappeared and to edit them, you can hit the settings button over here. It gets a little bigger from stuff, but I'm just going to turn off a couple of these that I do not use. So you can deactivate them as well as update them um, if you're not using them at that moment to make better space. And then you're, again, you have to reopen another place to um, deactivate the plugins and see now my buttons are bigger and it's easier to see so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's short i know these videos are kind of short but you know i'm just trying to get videos out there um so i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing maybe um this is me signing off and as always keep on scripting